Microwaves are a bit of this too in the morning cycle, whether you notice it or not. Unseen by the human eye, microwaves allow you to view people's attention and tell you where you are at night and even read your dinner. In this video, we will deep dive into the world of microwaves, its characteristics and uses, if it really causes harm and what we should do about it. Commissioned by the Department of Health, we have gathered a team composed of experts on microwave radiation. Here we have journalist Bahai with her PowerPoint presentation. Microwaves are electromagnetic waves with frequencies ranging from 300 MHz to 300 GHz. They are widely used in navigation, communication, households, medical, and military buildings. However, extensive use of these applications may have effects on us humans. In 2011, the International Agency for Research on Cancer announced that microwave radiation has potentially carcinogenic effects. However, it can currently also declare that the carcinogenic potential of mobile communications equipment was limited to glioma. Of the numerous studies performed to explore the effects of mobile communication devices on humans, only a few have shown that cell phones and brain tumors are statistically correlated. Most studies have not supported the conclusion that cell phones cause brain tumors. In long-term epidemiological investigations of large population with occupational exposure, the results have not been consistent. In addition, there is little scientific evidence to demonstrate that children are more sensitive to electromagnetic radiation than adults. In long-term epidemiological investigations of large population with occupational exposure, the results have not been consistent. Dastag et Ali investigated on workers who work at a television transmitter station with a frequency ranging from 202 to 209 MHz, 694 to 701 MHz, 750 to 757 MHz, or 774 to 781 MHz, and at a medium wave broadcasting station. Their answers to the questionnaire showed that the workers suffered from symptoms including headaches, fatigue, stress, and sleeplessness. Most workers recovered when they left the source of microwave radiation. In addition, another study showed that significant psychiatric symptoms were observed in people who worked in these areas. In particular, somatization, obsessive compulsivity, paranoid ideation, and psychotism were reported. Though exposure to microwave can result in undesirable effects, we can't disregard its positive effects. We use microwave radiation to heat or reheat our food send messages, call our friends and families, and many more. In other words, microwave radiation makes our life easier. In fact, according to a study conducted by Mortazave, with the use of mobile phones and the Wi-Fi, the visual reaction time of college students were significantly shorter after 10 minutes of phone-induced microwave radiation. The results suggest short exposure to microwave radiation can reduce an individual reaction time and improves its cognitive functions, attention, and short-term memory capacity. Above all, because of biases and variation in investigating methods, no conclusive evidence has been presented that microwaves can cause cancer. We should ensure that we avoid excessive exposure to microwave radiation our daily activities and use mobile phones appropriately despite information about its positive effects. In the population with occupational exposure, proper protective measurements should be taken to avoid unnecessary harm. We have also prepared an infomercial with the help of our team's dermatologists. There are many concerns out there on the internet about the effects of microwave radiation. Many have gone as far as to be afraid of the microwave ovens in their homes as it allegedly causes effects due to the radiation it gives off or how it may alter the food that's been heated inside them. Would consuming these foods cause internal harm? Would the radiation it gives off reach your skin and your body tissues and cause adverse effects? 
Microwave ovens like the Micromax use microwaves to vibrate the water molecules in your food, heating them up. Micromax is able to heat a wide variety of foods within its metal encasement, made with durable but lightweight stainless steel that is resistant to food stains. Very little microwave radiation is able to escape this especially designed encasement, and the hinge door has a strong seal, whilst the oven itself will not emit microwaves unless the oven door is completely closed. It is still important to be cautious as long term effects from the microwave exposure are not yet proven, so best not put your face or head near. Rest assured that all exposed internal parts in the microwax are made with the best food grade materials and are safe to clean by hand with a damp cloth. Just to remember to unplug it before cleaning. As for whether or not microwaves alter the composition of your food making it harmful to eat, it does not. Micromax and other microwaves essentially do the same thing. Microwaves push the water molecules in your food around which warms it up. In fact, microwaves have an impact on other molecules as well, but the effect works best on water molecules. This friction is what creates the heat. This does not mean that you have to fear that your food has been altered. It's just been heated at a molecular level with, a, with microwave radiation. Take it from us experts that your skin or any part of your body won't be negatively affected by the microwaves. Now that you know more about how microwave ovens function, you are no longer subject to the misinformation about their alleged dangers and can benefit more from the uses. Make sure to check out Micromax's wide range of products to cater to your cooking and microwaving needs. And now, today with me here is our physicist, Mr. Mendez, to give us a deeper understanding regarding microwaves. Sir Mendez, let me ask, what are microwaves really? Microwaves are a type of electromagnetic radiation as are radio waves, ultraviolet radiation, x-rays, and gamma rays. Microwaves have a range of applications, including communications, radar, and perhaps best known by people, cooking. And what's the use of these microwaves? Microwave technology is extensively used for point-to-point -point telecommunications, in other words, non-broadcast uses. Microwaves are especially suitable for this use since they are more easily focused into narrower beams than radio waves, allowing frequency reuse. Their comparatively higher frequencies allow broad bandwidth and high data transmission rates. Microwaves are also used in spacecraft communication and much of the world's data. TV and telephone communications are transmitted long distances by microwaves between ground stations and communication satellites. Microwaves are also employed in microwave ovens and in radar technology. What are the harmful effects of microwaves? Does it have the same effects with gamma rays and other waves in the spectrum? Microwave radiation can heat body tissue the same way it heats food. Exposure to high levels of microwaves can cause a painful burn. But don't worry, your Wi-Fi router and many forms of telecommunications aren't capable of doing that. Additionally, the lens of the eye is particularly sensitive to intense heat, and if there is exposure to high levels of microwaves, they may cause cataracts, but studies are currently inconclusive. However, visible light, microwaves, and radio frequency radiation are forms of non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation is not energetic enough to knock electrons out of atoms. UV rays, X-rays, and gamma rays are all forms of ionizing radiation. Exposure to ionizing radiation can alter atoms and cause damage to the DNA in cells in organic matter. Strictly speaking, microwaves and other non-ionizing are able to damage your DNA and cause mutations, cancers, and other diseases. There have been many studies in the past investigating the link between exposure to low-frequency EM radiation and the development of cancer and other diseases. Many of these studies were controversial, 
heavily criticized and discredited. For now, it is unclear if microwave exposure causes any long-term effects as long-term studies are still ongoing, as our use of microwave increases. If so, how can we protect ourselves from these effects? To protect ourselves from possible effects, both short-term and long-term, there are some precautions we can take. First, keep a distance, if possible from cell phone towers. The further you are away, the less radiation you will absorb. Never sleep next to your cell phone. Having cell phone close to your bed may affect your sleep. Turn off your cell phone or not even bring it into the bedroom. Avoid using Wi-Fi as often. Most of us have Wi-Fi router in our homes. Most of us have jobs or school requirements that require a cell phone, computer, or other electronic device usages. It is essential to do our very best to make our home EMF radiation safe as much as possible. Again, microwaves are not proven to be harmful, so these are only precautions. Until further research gives us more info on microwaves' harmful effects. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and helping us spread awareness about microwaves, Mr. Mendez. I'd also want to thank our team and sponsors for making this vlog happen. There is a lot of misinformation out there that spread fear about the lower frequency radiation. Remember, the way to protect ourselves and others is to be responsibly informed. The more we know, the less harm to come to us and others.